The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us today here at Christ our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for the whole counsel of God. We're in the prophet Hosea here on this Tuesday, the 15th, yes, the 15th of August, and we'll be finishing up chapters 13 and 14 today. So let's hear God's word together and pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. Please show me now your ways that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which comes through faith in Christ. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word, and I will declare your greatness. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hosea chapter 13, entitled, The Lord's Relentless Judgment on Israel. When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He was exalted in Israel, but he incurred guilt through Baal and died. And now they sin more and more and make for themselves metal images, idols, skillfully made of their silver, all of them the work of craftsmen. It is said of them, those who offer human sacrifice kiss calves. Therefore they shall be like the morning mist or like the dew that goes early away, like the chaff that swirls from the threshing floor or like smoke from a window. But I am the Lord your God. From the land of Egypt you know no God but me, and besides me there is no Savior. It was I who knew you in the wilderness, in the land of drought. But when they had grazed, they became full. They were filled, and their heart was lifted up. Therefore, they forgot me. So I am to them like a lion, like a leopard. I will lurk beside the way. I will fall upon them like a bear robbed of her cubs. I will tear open their breast, and there I will devour them like a lion, as a wild beast would rip them open. He destroys you, O Israel, for you are against me, against your helper. Where now is your king to save you in all your cities? Where are your rulers, those of whom you said, Give me a king and a princes? I gave you a king in my anger, and I took him away in my wrath. The iniquity of Ephraim is bound up, his sin is kept in store. The pangs of childbirth come from him, but he is an unwise son. For at the right time he does not present himself at the opening of the womb. Shall I ransom them from the power of Sheol? Shall I redeem them from death? O oh, death! Where are your plagues? O oh, Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion is hidden from your eyes. Though he may flourish among his brothers, the east wind, the wind of the Lord shall come, rising from the wilderness, and his fountain shall dry up. His spring shall be parched. It shall strip his treasure of every precious thing. Samaria shall bear her guilt. Because she has rebelled against her God, they shall fall by the sword. Their little ones shall be dashed in pieces, and their pregnant women ripped open. So far the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Devotional note on chapter 13. Israel's never-ending idolatry and disobedience provoke this most violent description of judgment. The children offered to Baal would be ripped away. Today offer yourself, your family, and your congregation to the Lord in repentant prayers. Acknowledge lack of control and beg for God's forgiveness beg for God's restoration, beg for God's health. By grace, God's Holy Spirit will enable you to see things aright. He will ransom and redeem his people through his son's compassionate love. We pray, thank you, Jesus, for opening my eyes to your compassion. May I always trust in you when faced with sin, death, and the power of the devil. Devil, in your name I pray, amen. We continue into chapter 14. The last chapter of Hosea entitled, A Plea to Return to the Lord. Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your iniquity. Take with your words and return to the Lord. Say to him, take away all iniquity, accept what is good, and we will pay with bulls the vows of our lips. Assyria shall not save us. We will not ride on horses, and we will say no more, our God, to the work of our hands. In you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their apostate. I will, live, I will love them freely, for my anger has turned from them. I will be like the dew to Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall take root like the trees of Lebanon. His shoots shall spread out. His beauty shall be like the olive, and his fragrance like Lebanon. They shall return and dwell beneath my shadow. 
They shall flourish like the grain. They shall blossom like the vine. Their fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. O Ephraim, what have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like an evergreen cypress. From me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things. Whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the upright walk in them, but transgressors stumble in them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The devotional note for chapter 14, the overwhelming evidence of Israel's apostasy showed that Hosea's indictment was true. In our own cases, the verdict is similarly clear. However, Jesus Christ has borne our sentence for us. The dew of his mercy and the shade of his cross heal all of our sin. He renders us innocent before God's holy tribunal. We pray, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you have done to make us holy and righteous. Enable us to walk in your ways now and always. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. For the 15th day of August, we pray. We, give thank, we have thankful hearts for the blessings God gives to his people through full-time church workers, and that these faithful men and women care for us, pray for us, and teach us the word of God. O oh, Heavenly Father, as I read through the minor prophets, let me see that you can use all of us as your vehicles of grace. I may not be important to the world, but I know I am very important to you. There are people in my life who pay attention to the way I live. I pray that all I do and say will point them to Jesus Christ, my Lord. In his name I pray, amen. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them until the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know that we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.